we had a bunch of friends that were interested in starting companies, but the smartest and most talented of them kept trickling out here. And, um, and so we were, after a while, we were pretty intrigued, and, and it turned out both of us were kind of going through this situation where we had this cabin fever of feeling like everything that was interesting was ha that was happening was out here. And then we moved here, uh, and we weren't disappointed. So we, we moved into a little apartment. I think the companies, a lot of the companies seen some pictures of those glory days. But literally before we could unpack our boxes, uh, Pretty much the Silicon Valley dream uh, had started coming true between um, getting, you know, like we had investment lined up and all these like, orders of magnitude more resources to get started here and plugged into uh, the community in San Francisco that was unlike anything else. And so um, since then we've met just thousands of people from all over the world who are just really excited about building things and you know, designers and engineers and creative people. Uh, and I can't think of a better place in the world uh, to start a company. So we're really... Uh, really proud to put down roots here, um, and uh, and really glad that all of you could join us. And so, a little bit about the office. It's about 87,000 square feet, um, or as I call it, it's about two acres. A little bit of an upgrade from our last spot, um, but some distinctive things about it. Uh, you know, we are, we're uh, really grateful to we use a local uh, architect and designer and construction firm. Um, really open environment. Nobody has an office. Uh, no exterior walls, so that. Uh, we can enjoy the view here, and um, we're just really proud of our office team and everybody involved. And so uh, with that, again, thank you all for joining us to celebrate. Um, it's really great to be building this company here in San Francisco and to have the mayor and the city's support. Um, and we couldn't think of a better place to call home. So thanks again for coming. Right. I have a little something for you. Welcome to the Dropbox family. All right, nice colors too. Cool. All yours. Thank you. Well, Drew, thank you very much. Uh, and I wanted to come over here to congratulate you and Aresh for the starting of the company. But also, I wanted to make sure you knew that I'm coming here also to congratulate you on yet again two. TechCrunchy Awards, this statue. That's wonderful. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, now, as you, as you all may know, well, there's a lot of great reasons to be here. I mean, as soon as I walk in, I see Phil's coffee. I've known Phil when he was just one cup, one shop, and now he's, uh, he's inspiring because he's really doing it well, and he's hiring a lot of people at the same time, and if I'm not here on his shop a block away, I'm there at 24th in Folsom, and some of you may have seen me there. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. My Jacobs special. Thanks for having yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, over the years, Phil's given me a lot of good guidance, uh, especially when I was DPW director. He, we were talking about how to clean up 24th Street a lot, and now you see how uh, sparkling it is, but also how organic it is. And that's really uh, part of the reason why I like being here at Dropbox, because you've started a great company. Uh, you've kept the product. At least you're still for free in a lot of the startup areas. And you know this whole ability to file share in the cloud and allow people to do things creatively, but in different locations, and be able to pull down that information, that's wonderful. And that's such a compliment uh, to all of the technology uh, not only startups, but the whole technology world that uh, we are living in. And I think it's an invaluable service, and that's why you deserve those two crunchies. The other uh, reason I'm here, too, is congratulate you on these new offices. It's wonderful. God, you can look out. You can hear. It probably gets a little crazy on game day for all of you. Uh, but I think it's a wonderful place to be at, and I'm going to try to continue. Uh, this is part of the reason why I'm here is to be able to meet with you directly. Uh, I really enjoy uh, these outings, not just because we can meet the CEOs and the CFOs of these uh, companies that are doing great here in our city, but also listen to the employees because a great reason why the company is doing well is your own talent. Uh, the talent in each and every one of you contributing here to make uh, this an exciting place uh, to be in. Uh, the products that you uh, do, uh, 
uh, you're part of a real competitive world right now, and people are, uh, you know, starting other entities to compete with you because they know you've got a great model. And so uh, that should be welcomed because anytime someone can create something in competition with you, that means you're doing the right thing. That means you're growing. That means you're hitting the spots. And so I want to congratulate you for that. And make sure you know that you have a mayor that's listening to your needs. Uh, as people who live here in the Bay Area, I want to make sure that we represent a great city, uh, a city that invites your innovation, supports uh, technology, and then invite you in to help us as well because your creative juices are also what we need in our city. You know, I've been in, round, in government for 22 years and I've seen people sit at their jobs all day long and then uh, eight hours later you don't know what they did. And they kind of lose the creative juices when they first came and the eagerness to serve the public. And so I'm creating a relationship uh, with you through SF City uh, to help go both ways. If we can help you be a successful company and keep uh, the entrepreneurial spirit in our city alive, if we can do the kinds of things you want along this corridor, or along Market Street or Third Street to keep small businesses alive and keep arts in our neighborhoods, keep all the cultural enrichness of our city alive and well, you're going to be a lot, uh, feeling a lot better working and living in our city. And of course, that goes to good public transit system, goes to good schools, uh, it goes to welcoming, uh, as I said earlier, the arts community to be uh, flowering and everything they can. It, it goes to having great sports teams, and I think we're right around the corner uh, in the near future that Giants may not be the only sports team you know, that we have in our city, that there may be other sports that are welcomed. And, of course, I couldn't uh, help but notice that nice ping pong tables that you have. Uh, ping pong is part of, uh, uh, of course, my culture was part of uh, what we did celebrating last year as the, uh, uh, the year in which uh, China was open and we used ping pong diplomacy. But every tech company that I know of participates in ping pong. It's a great sport and we do that on some of our Sunday streets, particularly when we come to Chinatown in August. You see the, the citywide ping pong tournament and I hope Dropbox participates because I bet you got some great players here. Uh, I also want to let you know, too, I am quite aware of your mascot, uh, Mr. Panda here. Uh, in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Drew if I can borrow him because i got a few meetings with members of the Board of Supervisors, and I'd like to have the panda sit right next to me so we can both tell them what our city needs. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's great. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're on the edge, uh, cutting edge of a lot of good technology. We're doing the same thing. I've gotten you involved. I've gotten Twitter, Zynga, Salesforce, Autodesk, Zendesk, Zeus. All of you are involved in a great partner relationship with the city. And I want you to know that uh, uh, throughout uh, the next few years, you're going to see us exchange a lot of good ideas about how we support tech growth in our city. Because you really do represent, in my opinion, the most exciting job creation that we have. And there are other areas that I'm paying attention to as well. Uh, some people have said, Ed, make sure it's not a bubble and make sure you're paying attention to other things. And we are. Uh, I've got a whole healthcare industry that's growing. You're right next door to Mission Bay. Uh, Mission Bay is the heart of our bio and technology and stem cell research. That's growing, as you can see, very well. Uh, and then I'm paying, of course, great attention to our Stallworth, our, our foundation of uh, tourism and international status, uh, but I want you to know that all of that also works to your favor because as you develop more products and services, uh, please know that I'm working to hope to create conditions for you to have more international markets because you didn't start, uh, Drew, here just to be a San Francisco company. I know that in and of itself is a great goal, but I think you will agree with me that all of the technology companies came to San Francisco to experience the international setting that we have. If I can establish a market with you in the Philippines or in Southeast Asia or all over Europe, you know we're home to 70 council general offices in San Francisco, the largest number of council general offices outside of Washington, D.C. We are the gateway for so many international visitors, and so we want to use that status. We want to create that market for you. 
and have you as part of the conversation as to how we go about it the right way. I'm making my very first trip to China in November, my official trip to China as the first Asian mayor of San Francisco. I want to use it not just to celebrate that idea, but also bring technology companies and life science companies that represent San Francisco culture and be able to create those relationships you don't have. If you don't have them in Beijing or Shanghai or Guangzhou, the three largest metropolitan areas of China, uh, we can help try to do that on this trip. So I would love uh, uh, your participation. And then uh, I'd like your participation in just the quality of life in our city. You know that I, I'm a big fan of uh, uh, our bicycle community. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm sure there's a good large percentage of you that bike to work because obviously there's no parking around here. Uh, and so uh, transportation I know is important to you. Uh, it's important to the whole region. I'm working really hard on uh, getting our central subway started. Just a few blocks up, you can see the start of the central subway at, as it will go up 4th Street all the way into Chinatown. That's going to be a great connector to the 3rd Street light rail that we've already established. Uh, we are great supporters of high-speed rail just a few blocks away from here. Uh, we will have the uh, Trans Bay Terminal, hopefully with a high-speed rail terminus there. And we're working really hard with all the 10 mayors of the state of California, with the governor who's a big supporter of high-speed rail, because guess what? That's linked to our international economy. A third of our uh, traffic at the SFO airport is the Los Angeles to SFO commute. And we're not going to be able to enlarge our airport physically any further into the bay because of environmental issues. So we'll, out of respect, we won't do that. So the only way we could create the international flights that we need for markets that you care about is to move that one-third of our uh, commute traffic between LA and San Francisco onto high-speed rail and then allow our airport to capture more international flights. That's how we're going to succeed in the future economy uh, with your participation. So we have transportation. I know some of you are concerned is the affordability of housing there for you when uh, you want to kind of uh, be here in the city more and maybe start a family and uh, are the schools there at a level in which you want to uh, make sure that uh, eventually your kids will be able to go to local public schools. I'm working on all of that for our future, affordable housing and our school system. We have a great relationship with our school district. By the way, if you didn't know this, the city of San Francisco gives the school district millions of dollars each year. A couple of years ago, we gave them $23 million out of our rainy day fund, out of your taxes, uh, because we want to support their effort to make sure their achievement gaps are, are reached, that we're getting to our kids so that they know that they have a good school system to go to. And as those of you who might consider entering a young parenthood, you'll want to see our school succeed. You want to get our kids to know that they can be here and have the best jobs as you do and still succeed for their long term. So the school system, transportation system, and our housing are things that we're all working on uh, for your future. We want you as employees of Dropbox and we want the company not only to have started here but to stay here and to grow for the long term. So we're doing everything possible we can to create the relationship, create a long term uh, understanding and communications and we'd love to hear from you of how to make the city even more fun. I'm a big fan of uh, CMAC. I don't know if you know that. That's uh, California Music and uh, Arts and Culture. They want me to spend a little more time thinking about how we can do nightlife a little better in our city so that it's not just in the daytime that we have our arts and performing culture, but at night you can go to great venues to experience the arts and culture of our whole Bay Area. We'd like to do even more of that. We'd like a lot of that to end up along 3rd and 4th Street. Uh, as we create more opportunities for people to live here. You know, when we do the stations on Central Subway, those stations that come up above ground are going to be great places to put some uh, good uh, housing, uh, housing next to transportation so that uh, people can get uh, here and go all over the Bay Area, all over California, if the high-speed rail, when it, when it comes in. Uh, so we have a lot of things that we're working on. Uh, we are very cognizant. One of the reasons we get to work on all this infrastructure is because you're part of a very successful growth industry for our city. And the revenues are looking better and better every time 
we get a six-month report. And a lot of it has to do with the contributions of companies like yours into our tax base. And if I can return the favor by making sure you can grow, we'll have that many more people that are employed in your industry. And that will contribute, again, to more people living here, being part of the successful economy, and then resonating with areas uh, that are all over the Bay Area that are, I think, experiencing a recovery from this economic downturn. We have to depend upon our own San Francisco-based companies to grow our economy. The years in the past where we kind of waited for state and federal funds, no longer there. Uh, President Obama has kind of stated we're, we're not into earmarks anymore. He and Congress are cutting a lot of that off. Uh, Jerry Brown, every time I see him, it's like, what else are you going to cut? Like he's got a big abyss in the budget. And if he doesn't get his way, there's going to be even more hurt. So we're no longer dependent upon those streams of revenue. We have to create our own. And I only know one way. It's something that Phil taught me. Have a solid relationship with the businesses who want to grow and who want to employ, who want to help make the city successful. That's how we're going to do it. And we're going to do it on our own, but we're going to do it with your innovation. I want to invite you as well on a couple of levels. As part of this relationship, um, we have problems in our city to solve. And I can't solve them with just uh, city government employees. I think the way we are starting to think, well, we can get you in to help us do some hackathons, uh, help us think through some creative ways as to how to get Muni even better operating, how to solve problems of homelessness, or even the affordable housing uh, debate that we're having. Maybe if you came in with some of your uh, really creative thought and help us think outside the box, we can find even better solutions. Because I know you've got a commitment, you want the city to succeed. If it is successful, you're going to feel that much more committed to being part of the city. So we invite you to be part of that. We do that through SF City. My Chief Innovation Officer, Jay Nath, is here. You know, Jay, we're the, one of the only cities in the country. I've hired a Chief Innovation Officer right in the Mayor's office reporting directly to me. And he's got the pulse of a lot of the technology companies and how they want to contribute to improving the quality of life in our city. And guess what? One of the ideas that we have, I get to start a task force with all of the mayors across the country. I'm a member of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. All of the other mayors participate in the hundreds. And we get to advise the President and Congress as to what our cities need. Part of that is I ask them, how about I start a technology and innovation task force for all the mayors and they introduce companies like Dropbox and some of the products that you have to other mayors across the country so they can take advantage of technology. They may not have the kind of uh, creative environment that we have in San Francisco. I know New York, I know Boston, I know Gainesville, Florida has it, Austin is trying to get it, uh, Chicago uh, with Rahm Emanuel, he's trying to create a technology center out there. Every city is attempting to, but we've been successful already because we knew from the start this was going to be our strength. So we want to provide a platform for the rest of the mayors across the country to really gain some of your expertise. So if you've got new products and services, then we can apply them to the problems in inner cities throughout the country. We'd like to offer the U.S. Conference of Mayors as a venue uh, for our technology companies to exhibit some of the things that they are doing just like we did, I think last year, we did SF Park. Gosh, I had mayors go up and say, how did parking congestion uh, get resolved with a technology application? As you know, if you get on SF Park application, it's a great thing. I used to run around like crazy trying to find a parking space. Now you go on application, and before you get into the car, you know where you're going. And if you're coming down this way, and you want to find out where the best parking is, where the rates are, and where you can park to visit Dropbox or visit Phil's down here or go to the game, you can find the parking spaces that are available in real time before you get into the car and get down here. So these are some of the advancements that we're doing. And I am so glad to help you celebrate uh, the opening of great space, the improved and increased space that you have here. And watch yourselves grow. You're about 100 today. And hopefully in a year or two, it'll be 500. You'll fill out this whole space and you'll be negotiating up and down stairs. But congratulations on the tech crunchies. Congratulations on uh, the expansion. Congratulations on uh, really having a successful company. And 
uh, I'm going to leave with the panda for a day. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so I think we're going to open it up for some questions um, related to the office. And everybody's so shy in the social media. You're so shy. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, the question was, because uh, uh, the lottery system is uh, very unpredictable, you can't plan, it's all about luck, where you go, I'm a strong advocate for neighborhood schools, to be quite candid with you, and I, I would like to work out with the school district a long-term uh, change so that we can get strong neighborhood schools in all of the different levels in every neighborhood, because and, I, and I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a, since I've been around for about 22 years, part of my job was being DPW director. I did that for five years. I, I got to know and I got to pick up trash and I got to do graffiti abatement in every single neighborhood in San Francisco. And one of the things that I've really felt strongly about in my administration is to build strong communities. And part of that is to have those schools as well so that you're not cutting across town to get to the school of your choice. Uh, you have good academics there. So we're working with the school board and trying to get them the resources to do that and create more schools. In fact, we're working with some uh, great philanthropists down here in Mission Bay, too, to create a local school here in Mission Bay and have that funded. We're there with some big grant writers to uh, try to get that done. Is it this quiet at Dropbox? <laughs> any, any questions you have about quality of life here, uh, about what we can do, or the ideas that we've shared? What are your plans for continuing um, to improve uh, like high school access uh, throughout the city? Uh, coming, coming here, there's actually not, um, there's not a, I don't think there's a school high school that touches the square block that we're in here. Mm -hmm. Is there like a high school master plan for the city? There is. Uh, uh, so the question was uh, kind of more about uh, bicycle planning and dedicated roadways for the city. I, uh, by the way, I'm a member of the Bicycle Coalition, so you know that they're talking with me all the time about how it is. Right now, we are, have been focused on making sure that everybody is safe on the roads, I mean, from pedestrians to car drivers as well as the bicyclists. Having said that, we are going to expand uh, more of the lanes. Uh, we've got a great chance in doing that because last year the voters, some of it with a lot of your help, uh, passed a great bond, the street repaving bond that gave us $248 million to redo and resurface a lot of our bad streets. So you're going to have a lot more smoother lanes for us to ride on because I know in riding a bike, gosh, that would be the worst thing is to hit these, uh, all of these different utility trenches and things that pop up. And having said that, we're working with both the coalition and with our uh, Ed Riskin at the Transportation Administration uh, to figure out where all of the key commutes are, lanes are and to work with you. In fact, I would love you to uh, send Jane Ath or my staff uh, your opinions about the best routes to get to work and to get uh, home from work. Uh, and coming down here to the area uh, from all over the parts of the city would be a great way to do that because I think there's a lot of traffic that comes down here, so we have to figure out where the safest, most efficient routes would be to get over here. Uh, so we're always very open to those routes as we create you know, Central Subway and some of the other uh, modes of transportation here. So we're very open to that. Uh, I can't tell you exactly which streets we are, but I think we're a few weeks from opening the new JFK route. Uh, we have a dedicated green lane within uh, Golden Gate Park and it's going to follow JFK, and it's kind of a neat one because we segregated the bike route from the parking lane and then from the actual automobile traffic. So if you live on that side of town, hopefully in a few weeks when we open it, you're going to be really happy. Yeah. Uh, yes?
couple bikes? Yeah, um, yeah. As you know, the numbers that came out about initial estimates to do to do a bike lane on our side of the Bay Bridge is got somebody said 100 million dollars. And uh, that's very frustrating because I'd like to see other engineers design something that uh, might be uh, more palatable financially. Um, I don't think we've figured it out yet because it's going to be pressure building as we get to the opening of Bay Bridge. Um, I would think, uh, since we're talking about uh, kind of increasing ferry uh, for the rebuild of uh, Treasure Island, uh, as well as America's Cup, and I think the port would love more ferry service to our port of San Francisco, that uh, we could do well by having uh, a Treasure Island make even more dedicated ferry service uh, between the island and the mainland. I think that would be great if we could do that. Um, Meanwhile, we'll still try to figure out if there could be something else that could be engineered on the existing Bay Bridge. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you again, Mary Lee, for joining us, and uh, we're really excited to celebrate this with you. And thank you, congratulations. Welcome everyone sir. to Dropbox. Thank you. Is Graham here? Uh, so we have a little something that we do to close these things out. Um, Graham, can you want to do the honors? One, two, three. Dropbox! All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you.